the third Vivian demo. In the first two demos, I created a basic event file containing a room with tables, chairs, and plants in it. I called the file My Fantastic Event. In this demo, I'll continue working with the same file. I'll show you how to add a stage at the front of the room, place a screen on the stage, and put some pipe and drape around the room. First, I'll open My Fantastic Event by clicking this shortcut in the welcome window. And here's my room. Remember in the last demo my client called and said she was hiring a whole troupe of flamenco dancers? Well, I'll have to add a stage big enough for all of them. In Vivian, adding a stage is a snap with the riser tool. First I'll click the riser button, then I'll enter the size of my stage. I'd like it to be 50 feet wide, 14 feet deep, and 4 feet high. I'll click OK, and then I'll click to place the stage at the back of the room like this. I'd like to make the stage look sort of Spanish for the flamenco concert, so I'm going to change its color. I'll click on it to select it, and then I'll right click and choose Properties. I'll click the Appearance tab, and in the left hand side I'll select the riser elements by pressing Control and clicking on all of them. Then I'll click Use Custom Color. I think I'll choose Red. Ooh la la. Then I'll click OK. Let's see what it looks like in the virtual view. Wow, it's very red. But it looks a bit empty without anything on it. I think I'll add a projection screen with a colorful backdrop for the concert. The first thing I have to do is tell Vivian how high the stage is so the screen is placed on top of the stage and not on the floor. My stage is 4 feet high, so I'll press Tab and then I'll type 4 feet. Notice how the height value at the bottom right hand corner changes to 4 feet. I'll click this little projector icon to open the projection wizard and place a screen on the stage. This wizard is great because it lets you choose from all kinds of screens in standard or custom sizes. If you decide to also place a projector in the drawing, Vivian will calculate the correct distance from the screen to maintain the proper aspect ratio. I'd like to add only a screen to the stage, so I'll click Create a Screen, and then I'll click Next. I'd like to place a large backdrop on the stage without a drape around it, so I'll click Custom Surface, and then I'll click Next. I'll type a width of 30 feet and a height of 8 feet, and then I'll click Next. Now I'll browse to the image for the screen. This could be any graphic you have in a format like JPEG, Bitmap, or GIF. It could be your client's logo or any other image you like. I'm going to choose something to go with the flamenco theme. I'll click Image File, and then I'll browse to my image. I'll click Open, and then Finish. Now I'll click in the middle of the stage at the back to place the screen. You can only see the image in the virtual view. So let's click that tab to see our new screen. Ra-cha-cha! Can't you just see a flamenco concert here? Next we'll add some pipe and drape behind the stage with the pipe and drape wizard. Just like the other Vivian wizards, this tool offers you so many choices. You can create drape lines exactly the way you want. The first thing I have to do is set the height value back to zero so the drape line starts on the floor and not four feet above it. I'll press tab and then I'll type zero. When I click the pipe and drape icon, this main wizard window appears, offering you three choices. The auto drape method is the fastest, but it only lets you place a standard length of drape line wherever you want to put it. The specify method lets you choose the measurements of the drape line, but the draw method gives you the most choice. It lets you specify the height of the drape line, the spacing between the upright pipes, and the number of drape panels per section. But most importantly, it lets you draw a drape line in any shape you want. I'm going to click Draw, and then I'll click Next. In this window, you can specify the height and spacing of the drape line, but I'm just going to accept the defaults, and then I'll click Finish. I'm going to draw a drape line around the stage, starting mm, here. Notice that every time I click, I can change the direction of the drape line, letting me draw whatever shape I need. When I finish drawing, I right-click and select Finish Pipe and Drape. Now let's go to the virtual view to see how it looks. Ooh, I like the red and black theme, but I think I'd like the upright pipes to be black too. 
You can customize just about anything in Vivian, including pipe and drape, and best of all, it only takes a few clicks. I think I'll also make the tablecloths red to match the room. I'll click the Drawing Wireframe tab again, then I'll click the drape to select it. I'll right-click and choose Properties. On the Appearance tab, I'll highlight the drape upright, and then I'll click Use Custom Color. In this window, I'll select Black, and then click OK twice. Then I'll select my tables by clicking in the seating area, and I'll use the Appearance tab again, this time choosing Red for the tablecloth. Let's see what it looks like now. Much better. The only thing missing are the dancers. The next thing to add would be lighting, so your dancers really shine. And lastly, you could turn this drawing into a rendering to show your clients. For tips on lighting and rendering, see the next demos in this series. Thanks for watching.